Right then. Canada coom back there. I came through a bridle path, went down the coom and into the wood just to keep in the cool. That um, sun is very hot indeed. So I deliberately come off the road and kept in the shade. Coming down the hill, right, a little bit of a extra time, but now, last couple of times I've been here, I've looked over there, there was a camper van. The camper man, camper van has been smashed up. All their belongings thrown in the field. They've had it, it was smashed, I reckon, to pieces because there was a toilet, there was a, the little kitchen sink, smashed glass, it looked like someone had come along and crushed it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. First time I'd seen it, there was people, there was people in it. They had the door open and Second time, it don't look like there's anyone in it. Third time, <sighs> crushed. So I'm just going to zoom in over there. Is that another? That looks like a top of a van, not as big as a camper van. What's that there? Yeah, there's that, that looks like a camper van as well. Unless that is the one, and it's been dragged into a field or something. God, I see what I've changed since I was here last. It was either a week and a half ago, two weeks maybe. I can't remember exactly what the date or anything, but um, the leaves, the bluebells, is just lusher and greener. If you imagine when I came a couple of months ago, right? And there was no leaves. Yeah, this is, this is very, very pretty. That field's pretty out there as well. That's a very pretty field. In fact, no, I won't go out in it, but it is pretty with the dandelions. Because there's a gate right across there that you can get over to get onto the Roman road if you wanted to. No sign of cows yet. <sighs> yeah, there's the road. I came out of the bridle path over there and walked down Canada Coombe Way in the col in the sh to keep cool. <sighs> That's what I'm doing. I mean, it can be hot. Seven o'clock in the bloody evening these days. So I deliberately, I mean, I'll be out in the exposed area soon. Uh, I just need to cool down a bit more. Fortunately, when I was doing the walk up um, Crooks Peak, and the first part of my day, it was cold. There was a wind, there was a quite a big breeze, 15 to 15 miles an hour, maybe more kept me very cool. I was quite cold. I had a scarf on the coat. Windchilled. So I, that's, I did that on purpose, in a way. I did it early, so I wouldn't be hot all the time, the whole day. It started getting hot after I uh, left Loxton. And I was heading for Christon, or Christon. That's when it started to get hot. And the wind dropped. That was the other thing. I can feel a bit of a breeze now, because we're getting closer to Western Supermare. So there might be a little breeze, which will be welcome. But I've had quite a big walk, actually. Doing the extra through Chrysan. That's a bit... It's a beautiful, beautiful comb now that I came up, honestly. The best one this year. You know, it's, that is not nearly equal in um, 
little uh, great wood, um, long wood. I can't get over how beautiful everything is. I suppose I did notice it, beauty. I've always liked nature. I've always liked woods. I've always liked walking. You know, being out in the nature. I've always loved it. Always, since a small child. I wanted to be a farmer. I wanted to be out with the animals, not making cakes or cooking their dinner. No, I never want to be a wife like that. Never had, never have wanted to. That's why it didn't work out. Now I can't fall into roles. Can't put me into a role. I can't, can't. Kills me. Kills me spirit. Now there's a good place to have a little rest in it, shall I? Just for a minute and drink water. Let's lean up against this gate, gal. We leaned up against it not long ago, and the trees over there were still like winter. Now, they've come out a lot since we were last year. And there's the beautiful wood. The beautiful wood. Beautiful wood. I love it here. It's taken over, in a way, from... It's compensating for not being able to go to Holford. That's how, it's only tiny compared to Quantox and that. But it's still very, very beautiful and peaceful. I love it. I love it. Right, I'm just going to take a picture of this, these trees again. Over and out.
the old wood weights. Just in case. Soon all the leaves will be out and this will be absolutely green and colourful over at Hutton Wood. Here we go folks, back to where I said I'd be coming back to several hours ago now, several hours ago, two, two and a half hours ago, could be three even, but I came through this gate. Seems to be even more colourful now with the sunlight out even hotter now. It's going about three o'clock. Well, Huttonwood, see you again. I'm sure I'll be back soon. You're getting spoilt by my company this year. <laughs> <laughs>